the original story arc of the 20 episode Cosmic Fury version was going to have Izzy and Fern break up because Fern was getting tired of Izzy being too protective of her. Simon Bennett, the executive producer, actually confirmed this over Twitter, and that's probably the reasoning why this character, Izzy, is written so heavily in defense of her girlfriend. But this has honestly amazed me, the backlash that has gone after Izzy from all these different people and different YouTubers talking about awful and how annoying Izzy is. I mean, Izzy won a GLAAD award for this show last year. It, it's a groundbreaking character, our first lesbian Power Ranger in live action, or at least official in a TV show. And people have turned on her so quickly and just seem to hate her in Cosmic Fury. And people just don't seem to care that Izzy is going through a very difficult time in her life. She just witnessed her brother losing his arm and going through a traumatic experience of that. Her friend that has been with them for a long time is now trying to kill them. He's been turned evil and is trying to kill her. And the leader that they all have been grieving for the past six months has come back to life somehow without really understanding anything about it and now is gone, is lost, and they can't find him. The other things that people don't think about is the fact that Izzy and Javi are the only ones who don't have their parents involved in this situation. Zato and Ion, of course, don't have any parents since they're 65 million years old. Ollie has Dr. Akana, his mother, who is helping the Power Rangers. Amelia found her parents, and Tarek is helping the Power Rangers. But Javi and Izzy are both having to keep this a secret. This is still something they have to hide from their family. And even at this exact point in time, Javi has the excuse of he's off recording a demo and Izzy is the only one who can contact her parents. So she has to sit there and contemplate, what do I tell them about Javi? Do I tell them he's okay? Do I tell them about the arm? What do I do? This is all resting on her at the same time as having this whole life experience of going off to college that she's supposed to be prepared for and ready to go do. But she can't do it. Besides all of that, besides just how horrible and difficult of a time Izzy's going through, she's a Power Ranger. Power Rangers protect people. Why is that a problem? Why are people upset that Izzy is trying to protect Fern? Oh, because she's doing it in an annoying way? What, what do you mean? How is she being annoying? Fern is her girlfriend and Fern doesn't have any powers. She doesn't have any way to protect herself. And Fern is a very happy-go-lucky type of person, but I think we can all agree that we've worked at places, or at least if you've worked somewhere long enough, there's always new people who come into a job and they're very disillusional. Is that the right word? Disillusional? They're very delusional with the idea of what this job is or how important their ideas are, or what people think they, you know, how important this new person is. And then they get into the job for a little bit and they realize, oh, maybe it's not all it's cracked up to be. And they kind of learn their place. Fern is like ready to go. She's ready to help. But at the same time, Izzy is sitting there going, you need to pump your brakes. You don't have any way to protect yourself. You're going to get hurt. And I can't watch you get killed or lose a, a limb like I just witnessed with my brother. It comes down to the fact that Izzy really just has more experience than Fern and she doesn't want Fern to get hurt. I don't know why. That's so bad. And what I mean by someone new at work who's a, a delusional is that Fern is putting herself in danger when she can't protect herself, which is really becoming a liability for the Rangers not so much being helpful for them. And once we get to the point where Fern becomes the Orange Ranger, Izzy drops this instantly. She stops trying to protect her. She says, I know you got this. I would have done the same thing. She understands, but it's because Fern now can protect herself. She couldn't before. And the thing that really ticks me off about this whole thing and so many people saying that Izzy's horrible and she's annoying is that Ollie in Dino Fury refused for a very long time to let them use Dr. Akana to help them, even though they needed her. Why was it okay? Why was it okay that Ollie could say, I don't want you guys having my mom in danger, that's not okay, all that type of stuff. But when it happens for Izzy, then she's annoying and just obnoxious and I hate her, she's terrible. But it's okay if Ollie does it, because you know. I mean, it's pretty obvious what's happening, but. Ultimately, I think it comes down to the fact that we didn't get a lot of focus episodes considering the season was so short. If we could have had an episode where Fern really understood or maybe had an episode before getting the powers where she went out and was being a little too ambitious and, you know, like, fell flat on her face or almost got killed and just barely got out of there and that really took a toll on her understanding that oh maybe 
this isn't just fun and games. Maybe I need to be more careful. And if there was also a character development for Izzy to realize that she has so much on her shoulders and that she's a she's nearing the point of breaking down and maybe that could have been another thing that we could have focused on but it was just such a fast moving series that we didn't get a, we didn't get to do that i still love cosmic fury i think it was great with what they could do with 10 episodes but those are the type of things since we didn't have that time we have to read into these things a little more think a little more clearly about what are these characters going through and not just make quick accusations because I don't like the tone of that person's voice or it's a girl and not a boy being protective so I hate her. I, I don't think that's fair, especially for those who are saying I want more gritty or mature Power Rangers. Well, you've got to be more mature about the way you think of it. You can't think of it as one dimensional characters. You actually have to think about who these people are. I mean, yes, they are characters in the show, but they are representing human beings. They're representing people with feelings and emotions, and you have to actually consider that. So don't just jump to, I hate her, she's annoying because she's a girl trying to protect somebody you got to actually have some facts to back it up. Izzy, to me, is a great character still. I think she was outstanding. In Dino Fury, I think she's still great. In Cosmic Fury, I don't think she did anything wrong. I think she was doing exactly what a Power Ranger does. She was a shining example of what it means to protect people and being a Power Ranger. So that's my two cents on it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.